You will undoubtedly run into Korean men if you're shortly visiting South Korea. Be advised that just because South Koreans aren't asking you out doesn't imply that they aren't interested if you're interested in dating while you're there. In the beginning of dating, South Korean culture differs a little from that of many other nations. When a guy is interested in a potential date, they will typically approach them and start a discussion, even if they are a complete stranger. That's not the situation in South Korea, especially if you are a visitor or a new resident who is obviously not from South Korea. Young South Korean guys are often quite shy when approaching strangers, whether they be men or women, thus it is doubtful that you will be approached by any of them. That doesn't imply they wouldn't welcome your approach and introduction, though. Making the first move on a cute Korean guy has no negative connotations. Do not be afraid to approach this man if you like him. Do you enjoy texting? Fortunately, there's a good chance your new Korean sweetheart is as well. The majority of males in South Korea love using their smartphones for social networking, texting, phone calls, and other forms of continual connection. Especially among 20-something young males. It's also becoming more and more typical for some young Korean guys to pay for the meal on the first date. Let the women pay for the coffee or soju at the following stop, and then switch off throughout the evening or dates. This strategy is undoubtedly more balanced, and there is less of an implied expectation that you put on a show for your date. It's likely that you have heard the phrase, Appa, if you enjoy K-pop or K-drama. When you're dating a Korean man, the urge to be, a Appa, might be a wonderful thing. For instance, they will look for the traditional symbols of chivalry and service at all the sites. When you arrive at the restaurant, he will already have secured the table to create a good impression. So be ready to have your chair pulled out for you, have his coat handed to you when you become cold, and all of these things. Don't worry about waiting for the one year anniversary for a huge party after you start dating a South Korean man. Along with your one month anniversary, your partnership will also be marked by milestones of 100, 200, 300, and one year. Hello, flowers and chocolate. Additionally, there are several enjoyable national love festivals celebrated in South Korea. There is a love festival for everyone. Regardless of your preferences, from Valentine's Day, February 14th, to Kiss Day, June 14th, to a holiday where you're supposed to gift your sweetheart chocolate, Wyatt Day, March 14th. You may absolutely show someone you love them on Papero Day, November 11th. We sincerely hope that by educating you a little bit about Korean culture, we have moved you one step closer to finding the love of your life. Proper communication is crucial if you're dating a Korean man, therefore learning the language will be beneficial to you. Additionally, You'll be able to read signs you see while out on dates and comprehend what you're buying the next time you're in a Korean restaurant. 